Well, we're one falling you to death tonight, and that's exactly what we have coming up next, a one-fall 15-minute match, but it involves two uh, fellas just a little bit more equal in size, and I think you'll find this one quite delightful. First of all, introducing from Amarillo, Texas, at 228, we've seen him before on championship wrestling, Al Roberts, Al Roberts from Amarillo. His opponent at 229 from Montreal, Canada, and uh, we've welcomed him so many times, too. Another fine welcome for Bob Boyer. Boyer versus Roberts, one fall, 15. And I think we're, we're going to have a nice one here. This is well, uh, this a lot Boyer, of action here. Right, Boyer's a very impressive fellow. In fact, I, I uh, you know, when I first met Boyer, I didn't like him. I didn't like him because he seemed to be, uh, you know, too uh, eager and too aggressive. I mean, that, not in the ring. I'm talking outside the ring, see? Yeah. But here's, here's a boy that knows what he wants and goes after it at all times. He goes after with the promoter, he goes after it in that ring with his opponent. And I've come to respect him for what he what he is to this business. He's a good, solid wrestler who believes in the business and is a real credit to the sport. That's good. And uh, he, he gives everything he's got, if you've noticed that. Everything right. he's got. When he's in there, you get an exciting match. That's right. I don't care who he goes against, he, you have an exciting match. Because I think that a lot of times now, I think that this fellow he's with in there now, I know for a fact that he doesn't have the experience Bob does. Robert but, Schell. but Bob is going to move along with the boy and he's going to beat him as fair and square as he can. He's not going to get rough with the guy. He's just going to beat him. And on the way, I want to tell you what he's going to do with this fellow on the way. He's going to teach him a few things, I think. That could be. Bob likes to do that. Sometimes he instructs wrestlers as he beats them by doing things to them they've never had done to him before, yeah. which he's doing now. See, he moves fast. Now, this I got a hand it to this kid now. He's got Boyer in a nice condition here. That uh, what's that? Uh, head scissor. Just a uh, head scissor, full full head scissor. And he's he's a pretty good boy now. This, this young fellow doesn't have the experience Boyer does. Yeah, Boyer's underneath and he's inside this thing, so he's going to have to work. Well, look at this. Now here's a turn. Here's a move. Oh, took him over again. You want to notice though that Boyer's always moving. Every minute he's in that ring, he never gives himself a rest. You know, some wrestlers will get on a hold and they'll sort of rest with it, you know, just a little right, bit to catch right. their breath. But Boyer, he stays right in there and he doesn't he doesn't give himself any rest. He's moving up and down and around and trying to wiggle out and uh... well, that flail uh, may gain him an escape here in a moment, but uh, not long enough. Look at this. Now of course Roberts can't lock the leg. He can't really get it hooked around. I've never seen a man push out of it so many times as boy. Boy, that's something. I say, you know, right? They push out of it twice and they've had it. <laughs> you know, Bob's from a pretty part of the world. Montreal. I've never area. been in Montreal, so I can't really say, but I would like to go there sometime. But they put out some great wrestlers. Carpentier, I mean, uh, from Canada, I'm right, talking about, right. not not especially Montreal. Uh, this is sort of a tendency in Canada that they have great wrestlers up there. They, they, have, they, they sell out a lot up there. Let's Montreal see, and Toronto. Uh, Guy Mitchell was from what? Uh, Hamilton, Hamilton, Canada. Hamilton, Ontario. Watson, uh, Whipper Bill Watson. Came out of Canada. Right. And uh, Carpentier, of course. Eduardo. Eduardo really is about the last of the school of small wrestlers. You know? Yeah, that's right. And he was so impressive when he came into Chicago. When I first met Eduardo, they brought him in Chicago. I remember they had a press conference down at the Hilton Hotel, and I went down there and. Uh, with some uh, sketches and some publicity photos, etc., that I was putting together a brochure on the man. Mm -hmm. And I remember that uh, he, was, he wasn't big, he was a really smallish. That's right. But when he had his great matches with Thez in Chicago, they had three great matches with Thez, and he had a couple with Ganya. It was Look tremendous. At this. Look at this. This was a type Boy, of. Well, this is action. This is this a, is a, this is a moves around quite yes, good. What's does. his name? Yes, a Roberts, Al Roberts. Al Roberts, he's a substitute too, you see. He's from uh, Amarillo. Amarillo. Well, Roberts moves very fast. I'm rather surprised. I'm rather surprised at Roberts. I didn't believe that he was as seasoned as he was. I've got to take back a few things. He looks, he's looking very good and fast in there. Boyer coming in quick. Oh, look at that. 
Boyer comes in very quickly. With Boyer those, reminds uh, me of a Billy Gels, doesn't he? Yes, he's, he's, very, he's, he's, very he's, much not, so. uh, he's a Billy Gels type. In fact, I think that he, he probably patterns Gels in a lot of ways, come to think of it. Gels was a great wrestler. Great wrestler. Gels was popular in the smaller towns. Did you know that? No, I didn't. He was a very popular wrestler in the smaller towns. No, that's true. And uh, now, now th that may strike you somewhat funny, but look at it this way. Some of our wrestlers are great in the big cities and lousy in the small towns. And other wrestlers, the small towns love them. Yeah. And, they'll, and you put a man like Boyer on top, by on top meaning the main event in a smaller town, and you'll draw good money. You put a guy like Watts on in a smaller town, and you might not draw as much from right, it because depends, they don't know Watts, and the TV might not get in there as strong. And sure. so, and Watts may be only on TV once, but you bring this boy in, you know, and he knows how to talk to them farmers and those those people that work with their hands and those miners, and uh, you know, he's he's sort of a, he's a type of guy, you know, that yeah. can can rouse up those those uh, rural rural areas. You're from the big city, aren't you? <laughs> well, why do you say that? You can't pronounce rural. <laughs> <laughs> well, as a matter of fact, I mean, I go crazy in a small town. I really do. Really? Oh, yes. I can't, I, can't, uh, I can't hardly go in and try to promote a small town. Because I can't stand to... I don't know what it is, you know, because I know there can't be enough people in that town to come out that'll make me happy, you know? If yeah, you get... Right. I'd like to see thousands of people. I'd like to buy the uh, the Astrodome or something right up hey, my alley. Uh, we've, we've got a little uh, change of tactics here by Roberts. He's all of a sudden decided that he's that. He he right. Oh, the only way he's going to get boy works fast. get any edge in with Boyer is to start playing the borderline stuff. No, I can't get excited. I get excited in the... There's nothing excites me more than to uh, go in a major city in, in a major arena. I, I went, the only time I ever saw Madison Square Garden, I went there for a wrestling show back in 61, and it was sold out to the rafters. Seaman Art Thomas was on the card, and also Rogers, and I'll never forget what a great, impressive sight. Locker used to sell it out. Right. Bit, Bruiser sold it out. Bruiser sold it out. And a great, uh, of course, the classic night in New York is the night that they had to lock Bruiser and Rocca up in jail in the precinct because of the riot that was started, you know, in the, in the garden. And that, uh, He's I don't think, right, I don't think anyone in New York will ever forget that, especially those who were at the old garden the night that happened. And, uh, they had a riot, a big riot? Uh, quite, uh, quite certain as one. Is that when he was, uh, is that when he had his suspension? Right. He got right. a life suspension right. and then he had it lifted? In, in New York, right. Well, nobody is suspended for life there unless it's really a right. major... Unless it's bad. Unless it's bad. You know, Rocco was an unusual man. We have an opportunity sometime to talk about him. I hated to see him retire because he was a... Well, somebody was told me he's style. back in action. Really? That's what I heard. You can't stay away, huh? I, I heard that the other night. I don't know where I was when I heard it. You know, this, this... I can't see how these two guys can even still no, move. But Roberts is... Roberts is sinewy. And, and, you know, just like uh, uh, Boyer, you know, they, they can move. Oh, he must have hurt his back. I, you see, the way he went right, down. Right, right. He, he hesitated a minute. Something yes. gave out in his back. Oh. It's got him out. Hey, and Boyer recognizes it, too. Look at this. He's Look got the bowstring. Oh, yeah. Wow. Holy mackerel. That, that'll do it right now. He had to, because he went, the way he went down, that back had to be hurt. That's it. Let's check the time again. I have eight minutes, 12 seconds. Eight minutes, 12 seconds. This one fall match to Bob Boyer over Al Roberts of Amarillo, Texas. And I think uh, he must have either stowed himself up or jammed himself coming out of that rope. Eight minutes, 12 seconds, and the fall to Boyer. We'll be back with more in just a moment. Don't go away.